Good morning guys, today's video is a little twisted for my regular viewers in, you know that in Monday I normally publish a list of hot products but today I actually thinking to be a little different because I have been released so many hot products in my previous videos and if I keep going like this it becomes a little boring for assuming you don't you think if you don't think if you think otherwise just comment below and I will get back to it but again every single sum of the Monday I will publish some of my chosen hot product or winning product but what i'm going to talk about in this video is about those people maybe not for everyone but those people who already has a store and getting much amount of sell or maybe even at the beginning point who has a little bit of big amount of capital and has a little bit of uh, followers who are actually maybe following them on your on their facebook on their instagram or any other platform who has this sort of followers where they can bring a product to instantly get uh, customers from then I highly suggest that you watch this video because I'm going to talk to you today about choosing a agent in China or in any other country. These are the principles apply of, for everything. So who need a dropshipping agent? Now what dropshipping agent does? Now all I'm going to cover in this video so stay tuned. Hello and welcome. My name is Sunny and in this channel what I discuss about all about dropshipping, e-commerce, product research, marketing and if you are interested in one of these consider subscribing and let's begin today's video if your question is what dropshipping agent does is basically a guide that dedicated for you that who has a warehouse in China who gonna buy the product that you're gonna tell them to buy from directly from the factory so you're gonna get a very cheap rate and then store those product in their warehouse so every time you're getting orders on your Shopify store you're gonna download those order details in CSV file and then you're gonna transfer that to that guy and that guy gonna follow that csv file where there would be customers address and all the order details and the product and the size and and everything so that guy will pick up that product from his warehouse which is dedicated for that customer through according to the csv file and he will ship the product to the customer now this is a revolutionary things for dropshipping people because some of you maybe know some of you don't know the things is that when you want to import a bulk amount of product in your country where you're selling this product maybe that country will charge you some import tax you can avoid this whole import tax things or establishing a whole company sort of things right from the beginning when you are not yet ready by choosing a dropshipping agent it's not only that that you're saving money on shipping also you are saving money on shipping time why i'm saying this because time is money guys look at amazon even in this covid 19 in this pandemic they are trying their heart and soul to supply or deliver the product within one or two days of their customer because their reputation are on the line so this is why dropshippers are like perform so poor i mean can you imagine that your product gonna come after two months and that customer will be coming back to your store do you think that will happen it will not even in fact this customer will go to his friends and family and will say look don't go to this website because they are scammers what i'm trying to tell you is that a dropshipping agent can solve not only this problem but a many 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 other problems but at the same at the same time on the other side a drop if you don't choose a dropshipping agent wisely then your business could be in jeopardizing or the problem would be that you will be invest a lot of money and maybe you invested in a scammer so in this video, I'm going to clear you the questions that you should ask or be clear in your head before you're choosing or working with any dropshipping agent. I have seen so many guys finding dropshipping agent in Facebook group. I'm not saying all of them are bad, but be aware of them. Some of them are very good scammers. You're not going to be spot on from the beginning because you are a new dropshipper. Maybe you are trusting everything they're saying, they're showing. So be very skeptical and choose wisely. Do not trust straight away a single dropshipper and watch this video till the end because you, then you're going to know what sort of question to ask and how to deal with them. Now the first things that you should definitely ask to a new dropshipping agent to prove themselves is that do they have a warehouse and this warehouse has to be a, a big warehouse. It's not like they say that yes I have a warehouse. You're going to ask them specifically a video or a picture, not picture, I suggest video so that they can show you their warehouse, their physical storeroom. I mean there will be some dropshipping agent that you can find it's just a simple guy in china they store the uh, products in their in their house and from there they ship it to you but hey you know what this sort of guy basically can be a scammer at, at, at some point if if they see that look i can steal your money they will do it so i highly suggest you go with a little bit of professional dropshipping agent what you can find how you can find those dropshipping agent i'm gonna tell this whole method of finding dropshipping agent in my facebook group so don't worry go there and you will find it don't forget to check this out i have the link in description so 
So the first question is if they have a drop shipping warehouse from where they can supply or ship the product to your customer then this is the perfect thing. Ask them for the video and ask them for some of the some of the proof like they are dealing with some other clients maybe and their company name are on their stamp and everywhere. Be, I mean be this will give you the peace of mind. Try to find the best things because I've been scammed before so I don't want you to be the fall into the same problem. The second question to ask them is what is their processing time? Now what is processing time? You know taking the product putting in a packet and packaging leveling it and then taking it to the post office this whole thing is processing time now if your uh, dropshipping agent is working with so many dropshippers and they have short of stuff that easily to say that their processing time would be longer so it is very hard and crucial things for you to understand and straight away ask them what is their processing time and they have to follow this processing time all year long even if it is in christmas or something sometimes it could be a little bit of problem for them but these are exceptionals so this processing time if it is like two to three days and after this two to three days the shipping time starts so now you agree that processing time is very important like if they consume already three days for processing the product and then they put that product on shipping and then this shipping gonna take another 10 days so your product maybe end up getting to your customer for after 15 days because then domestic shipping gonna take another two days to delivery so you see the calculation here so 15 days is not a good thing for drop shipping if you want to build a very good amount of business if you want to build a very good amount of healthy customer around your business and you want to build a brand 15 days for a product today's world well, people will not wait now why i'm telling you now these things because at the beginning i don't want you to emphasize most on the shipping uh, time because it's gonna take you anyway 20 to 30 days just because you are beginning you don't even know what product gonna be successful and you are just trying to get some money and to know which product is selling more so this this is the first phase when you once you know the second phase that your brand is working your product is selling people are loving your services this is the moment you push the accelerator because now you need everything almost perfect like other e-commerce websites like Amazon and Walmart because these are the biggest player you cannot be competing with them but you have to match their service at least a little bit shipping time is the very very bad point when dropshippers lose this quality very importantly what is the shipping time now shipping time is they have to actually they can actually provide you the previous order uh, track record so that they can tell you exactly what sort of time it took to reach that product to a destination country now they should be able to give you that list look for this list and this sort of list actually tells you and also tells you the capability of the dropshipping agent that they can supply this product very well and very faster in the destination country so make sure you ask them this question and be clear about it third question to ask is actually do they accept return now i know most of the dropshipper worry about the return if they return the product if my customer return the product what i'm gonna do i'm gonna send this back to my china by paying my money i mean what don't worry some of the dropshipping agent has very good very very good solution to them like some dropshipping agent can actually straight away tell you look I do not accept any order for the type of product you are telling me to store in my warehouse in this case they are not a good fit but some of the dropshipping agent will agree that okay the product that I'm going to store if for some reason if you get returned you store those product on your place like to your house and after in a month once you have a bunch of amount of item then you can ship all them together to myself and I will refund you that money so what you will happen that your customer when refund this product you're gonna pay them straight away you're gonna get their money back straight away and you're gonna store that product in your place in your house or in your storeroom and you're gonna do this for 30 days after 30 days once you have the amount of product then you're gonna ship them all back to that supplier actually that drop shipping agent so basically why they are accepting this refund because they are the responsible guy who actually bought the product in the first place from the factory or someone in the wholesale suppliers so they made the mistake over here or they ship the wrong product to the wrong customer so this this is their responsibility to take so you have to be very careful to ask this product these things from the beginning to your dropshipping agent because later these sort of things actually make problems for your business so make sure you do that actually sometimes forget to ask these sort of things dropshipping agent can be actually a direct competitor to your customers because they are maybe actually selling the product that you are trying to put stored with them and using their service now this is your responsibility straight away ask them if they're actually selling any like a seller like you and me or if they're just purely a dropshipping agent who has no interest in selling this product like a retail price so this is very important and crucial point to clear out because if not 
you know what we now have. minimum order quantity some of the dropshipping agent actually ask that yes we need minimum order quantity like for example i need they will tell you that i need 500 pieces of a single product less than 500 pieces i will not actually work with you for example they will say yeah this is i mean i don't know if you understood it's like they're gonna ask you like straight away to pay for this 500 pieces of product so they will buy this product in a very cheap price cheaper than aliexpress and alibaba sometimes so they can buy this product and store this product in their warehouse now I, I highly recommend you using paypal at the beginning when you do this sort of service because this could be a way you can recover your money if the things goes wrong another things to ask to your dropshipping agent is how they're gonna control the quality because they can buy they're gonna buy so many things for so many dropshipping store so they actually sometimes tend to forget to check the quality so you have to make sure that they do that they whenever they go to the warehouse or the factory from where they buy the product you're gonna give them some of the criteria that i want this like this like this like this now if it is already a product that is made the way you said it then dropshipping agent gonna find it straight away if not they're gonna actually speak to that supplier actually that factory owner and they're gonna create a product something like this and in this case sometimes they need a minimum order quantity a little higher because otherwise that factory would not agree to produce that product for such a minimum quality such a minimum quantity i'm saying so be sure to be sure to ask them for uh, inspection of the quality because you don't want most of the refund you don't want your customer to annoy i mean after all for avoiding all these things you are actually choosing the dropshipping agent so why don't you tell them to check the quality of your product before they ship it so this is a very important step for you once you want to use dropshipping agent in your drop one more thing is very important that you ask your dropshipping agent to if they can label the product or the packaging by your brand name which is very important because you are using dropshipping agent then take this advantage also to put your name everywhere wherever you can maybe it's a card insert card that they insert in the box maybe the whole box maybe some sticker labeling on top of the box of your product so that whenever your customer receive the product they know exactly where from this product come and you know how ugly it looks when aliexpress ship the product to your customer in very narrow sort of ugly packaging how do you think you can earn a customer trust by packaging stuff something like this they don't care but you should care right so work with the dropshipping agent to make a change in this and shine on the dropshipping business because you will be ahead of 99 percent of the dropshippers i'm telling you this so this was the whole video of this today's if you are thinking of dropshipping agent to use a dropshipping agent and how you can find those agent very successfully you can actually go to my facebook group which is branded dropshipping success have the link in the description i will discuss this whole matter in that group maybe not today but i will discuss it soon so don't forget to go there and get become a member and become a family member of our dropshipping group and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button guys because if you think this sort of video is helping you guys and i am actually pretty busy at the moment i i sometimes miss my schedule of producing videos and publishing it but i promise you from the bottom of my heart i actually try my hard and best to provide the best content for my viewers that's gonna help you because i do personally use dropshipping business as my career and i want to help you so if you want to stay with me hit the like button subscribe button and i will see you the next time have a good day